Welcome back YouTube, Sarah Finn here with my entry for the Ricky Kennerly 300 Subscribers Clownfish Contest. Ricky has a wonderful channel featuring all kinds of African cichlids, and if you haven't already checked out his channel, I highly recommend you do so. He has wonderful Frontosa videos and is always a pleasant voice here in the YouTube community. I'm happy to participate in his contest. In this contest, Ricky wants to know what our favorite type of clownfish is and give a bit of information on how to keep clownfish. Clownfish have always been my favorite type of saltwater fish. Their quirky nature and interesting personalities make it a staple in almost every marine tank. Although they come in many varieties and colors, I'm biased towards the percula clown since it was the first saltwater fish I ever bought. Clownfish are fun to watch and actually quite easy to care for. They do well on a pellet diet and are known to thrive in tanks as small as 10 gallons. This of course makes them very popular in nano tanks, although some species of clownfish do get quite big, so it's important to know what you're shopping for. Clownfish are so popular in fact that stocks in the wild have plummeted since the release of Disney's Finding Nemo which caused a huge surge in demand for these poor fish. Luckily, these fish readily breed in aquarium settings, and many companies such as Sustainable Aquatics specializes in tank-bred fish. This has not only helped the environment start to recover, but it's also opened many pathways to breeding unique and interesting clownfish. In the wild, clownfish pair for life, and given the opportunity, will do so in your tank. This usually means that having an odd number of clownfish can result in fighting, stress, and even death. It's important to only keep one or two clownfish in an aquarium unless you've got room for more pairs. Overall, clownfish are one of the brightest, most entertaining fish in the hobby today. They add activity, fun, and certainly live up to their name. I highly recommend clownfish to anyone starting up a saltwater tank as these hardy little fish will really give you an idea of what saltwater fish keeping is all about. Again, I want to thank Ricky Kennerly for hosting this wonderful contest. Congratulations on 300 subscribers, and I'm sure there will be plenty more to come. Again, guys, don't forget to go check out his channel. I'll post a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.